Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do fractions, the multiple choice type questions from chapter 3. The multiple choice type question is on page number 61 and we are with question 8. 1 by 3 or one third part of a work is done in 1 hour. The part of the work done in 2 1 by 5 hours is of these answers. So in one hour, one third of a work is done. So in two one by five hours, how much of work will be done? So that is, it's given this way, in one hour. In one hour, one third is done. So in two one by five hours, how much of work will be done? It will be one by three into two one by five. Okay. In one hour, one third is done. So in two one by five hours, it will be this one third into two one by five. And which of these is the answer? Here we have one third into two one by five. So option four, this is the correct answer. Question nine, a rectangular sheet of paper is 11 one by two centimeters long and eight one by two centimeters wide. What is its perimeter? Now, what is the formula to find the perimeter of a rectangle? Here it says rectangular sheet. The formula is perimeter equals 2 into length plus breadth. Okay, so here it's a rectangular sheet of paper. To find the perimeter, we have to multiply 2 into length. And here length is 11 1 by 2 centimeters. And the breadth or the width here, 8 1 by 2 centimeters. So we have to do this. So now let's work this out. So 2 into, let's convert 11 1 by 2, which is a mixed number, into an improper fraction. So 2 11s are 22 plus 1 is 23. So inside brackets, it is 23 by 2 plus, now let's convert this also, 8 1 by 2. 2 8s are 16 plus 1, 17. So that is 17 by 2 and this is centimeters. Now we continue 2 into, now in brackets here, we have 23 by 2 plus 17 by 2. Now both are like terms, so it's easy. So we put 2 as the common denominator. And since the denominators are the same, the numerators also will be the same. So we simply have to add it up. So this is 2 into 23 plus 17 is 40. So that is 40 by 2. So let's write that 40 by 2. Now here there are two ways you can do. We can cancel and do or you can reduce to th this to the lowest term. So here I'm going to cancel these. So what is left is only 40. So that is 40 centimeters. So we have found the perimeter. The perimeter is 40 centimeters. Which option is it? It's option 2 and the answer is 40 centimeters. Question 10. Peter can read a novel in 17 days. If he devotes two 3 by 7 hours per day, in how many hours in all will he read the whole novel? Okay, that means in 17 days he can read a full novel. But suppose he spends so many hours per day, then in 17 days, how, how many hours will he spend? So let's write that. So that is in one day. In one day, he spends two 3 by 7 hours reading the novel. Now, in 17 days, 17 days to find that we have to multiply. So, it will be 2, 3 by 7 into 17. Now, let's see which of these options will give us this answer. 2, 3 by 7 into 17. Now, here we have 17 divided by 2, 1 by 7. Here we have 2, 1 by 7 divided by 17, which is wrong. Here we have 2, 1 by 7 into 17. Now, here it is given as 2, 1 by 7. Whereas here in the question, it is 2, 3 by 7. So none of these answers are correct. So option 4 is the correct answer. Question 11. So here we have a sum with a number of brackets. We have the square bracket, the curly bracket, the parenthesis, and we have the bar bracket. Now, after solving all this, what is the answer equal to which of these? So let's take this, the working column, and work that out. So we have it here. 
Now, in all these brackets, the first thing that you need to remove is the bar bracket. So what is under that we have to work out first. So here let's write everything else as it is. So this is 1 by 3 minus, again we have 1 by 3 minus, 1 by 3 minus, again the parenthesis, 1 by 3. Now under the bar bracket we have this much. 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3, we have to work that out and write the answer. Now how much is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3? It is 0. So here it is minus 0. So we have removed the parenthesis. We close all the other brackets. The, uh, we have removed the bar bracket. Okay, so we put back all the other brackets. So now the bar bracket is removed. Now we have to remove the parenthesis. So let's work out everything else. So here 1 by 3 remains the same minus Again, we have 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 minus. Now, we are going to remove the parenthesis. So, let's work out what's inside. 1 by 3 minus 0 is back to 1 by 3. So, this is 1 by 3. So, we have removed the parenthesis. So, close the curly bracket and the square bracket. So, in the next step, we have to remove the curly brackets. So, what is inside the curly brackets? We need to work out. So, here 1 by 3 remains as it is. Inside the square bracket, again, we have 1 by 3 minus. Now, we are going to remove the curly brackets. So, what is inside that? 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3, which is again equal to 0. So, now curly brackets are removed and we put back the square bracket. So, this is the last one that we have to do. So, now let's write this. So, here we have 1 by 3 minus. Now, here we have 1 by 3 minus 0, which is 1 by 3. And here... What do we have? Our final step, 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3, this is equal to 0. So finally, after working out all this, what did we get? We got 0. And which option is that here? Option 3. So 3, option 3 is our correct answer. And the answer is 0. Question 12. We have the question as 1 by 5 divided by 3 by 7 into 5 by 4. Now, first thing, when you have division and multiplication, you have to work on the division. So, that means we are going to work out this. So, let's write in the next step, 1 by 5, division changes to multiplication and then we write the reciprocal 7 by 3 into 5 by 4. Now, let's see if we have these in the options, starting with 1 by 5. So, here we have 1 by 5. What's the next one? Into 7 by 3 into 5 by 4 but here it is 4 by 5 so that's not the option let's go to the next one 1 by 5 okay 1 by 5 into 7 by 3 which we have here also into 5 by 4 so that means this is the correct answer and option 2 is our answer here question 13 so let's work out this here we have the curly bracket and the parenthesis so let's work out that so let's write down the question. So in the curly brackets, we have 3 by 5 divided by, in parenthesis, we have 3 by 5 plus 2 by 5. And this whole thing, we have the curly brackets and then divided by 3 by 5. So whenever you have brackets, according to Bodmas, that should be worked out first. And even in brackets, there is an order to follow. Here we have curly brackets and parenthesis. Parenthesis needs to be worked out first. So this part needs to be worked out first. So here what do we have? We have in curly brackets 3 by 5 divided by. Now inside the curly bracket we have 3 by 5 plus 2 by 5. That means the denominator will be the same. Both are 5 and in the numerator we have 3 plus 2. So we close the brackets, the curly brackets also divided by 3 by 5. Now let's remove the parenthesis. So 3 by 5 divided by, now here we have 3 plus 2 which is 5. So that is 5 by 5. Close brackets divided by 3 by 5. So here we can divide it straight away or you can convert it to multiplication 3 by 5 into reciprocal is also 5 by 5. 5 by 5 is actually equal to 1. So this we can straight away do it. 3 by 5 into 5 by 5 is equal to 1 divided by 3 by 5. 
Any number into 1 will give us back the same number. So we've got 3 by 5 back divided by 3 by 5. Here again, 3 by 5, division takes us to multiplication. This becomes 5 by 3. So here, what do we have? 3 into 5 is 15 in the numerator. In the denominator, 5 into 3 is also 15. When numerator and denominator are the same, it's equal to unity or 1. So the answer here is 1, which is the option here in this option 4. Option 4 is 1. So that is our answer. Question 14. What fraction of an hour is 40 minutes? Okay, so 40 minutes make up how much of an hour is the question. So here we know that 60 minutes make up one hour. Now we want to know 40 minutes, how much does it make? So when you have questions like this where 60 is given and you're asked for 40, but we don't know the value of 1, that is when you apply the unitary method. Okay, so here we have 60 minutes. So now we're going to find for one minute. So 60 minutes make up one hour. So one minute will make up one by 60. One by 60 of an hour. Okay, 60 minutes make one hour. So one minute will make one by 60 of an hour. So now we can find for 40 minutes. For one minute, it is one by 60. So 40 minutes will be one by 60 into 40. So that is one by 60 into 40. So multiply the numerators. 1 into 40 is 40. In the denominator, we have 60. So what do we have? We have 40 by 60, which is our answer, 40 by 60. Now here, let's see where we have 40 by 60. That's option 2. So option 2 is our answer. Question 15. 3 elevens of Shyam's salary is rupees 7,260. Then what is his salary? 3 eleventh of the salary is so much. So we have to find out what his actual salary is. Let's consider this salary to be X. Okay. So what does it say? It says 3 eleventh of X of the salary is rupees 7,260. So now let's write this as 3 by 11 of is into X. X is the salary is rupees 7260. So now we have to find the value of x. So this becomes a linear equation. So x is equal to 7260 and we're going to transpose 3 by 11 to the other side because it's multiplication here. When it goes there it becomes division. So divided by 3 by 11. So now we're going to find the value of x by Doing this division, 7260, division changes to multiplication. 3 by 11 becomes 11 by 3. So this is by 1. Now we can cancel 7260 by 3. We can divide this by 3 and see how much it is. So let's do short division and divide it by 3. So here, let's take 7. 3 twos are 6. What is left is 1, so that's 12. 3 fours are 12. Now we have 6. 3 twos are 6. And zero. So when you cancel 7260 by 3, what do you get? 2420. So this is cancelling here 2420. Now we have to multiply the numerators and the denominators. Denominators one, so we just have to multiply the numerators. So when you multiply the numerators, you will see that the answer that you get is rupees 26,620. 26,620 is the answer that you get when you multiply. Multiply carefully and see, you will get this answer. Now, 26,620 is which option here? It's option 4. The answer here is option 4. That is 26,620 is Sham's salary. Question 16. The number that should divide 2, 1 by 3 to get 1 is which number? This is a simple question. When you see a mixed number, don't get mixed up. Don't get confused. Remember, what should you divide with this number to get 1? Now, suppose I have the number 5. What should I divide with 5 to get 1? I divide it by 5 itself, isn't it? 5 divided by 5 is 1. Now, you take 7. What should I divide with 7 to get 1? To divide it by 1. 
In the same way, if you take 2 1 by 3, by what should you divide it to get 1? Same number, 2 1 by 3. So our correct option here is option 3, 2 1 by 3. Now you can work this out also and see. Okay, let's see whether we get 1 when we work this out. So 3, let's convert. 3 2s are 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is 7 by 3 divided by 7 by 3. Let's see whether we get 1 here. 7 by 3, division changes to multiplication. 7 by 3 becomes 3 by 7. Now let's cancel. I can cancel 7 and 7. I can cancel 3 and 3. And this is equal to 1. So can you see children? Even if you work it out, you will get your answer like this. That means the number that should divide this to get 1 is that same number itself. That is option 3. So with this children, we come to the end of the multiple choice questions. Thank you children.